It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. The sky is completely blue. I don't see any cloud anywhere. It's unseasonably warm and it's only late April. So warm that I had to take my jack shirt off and I just cooked myself a wonderful lunch and the only way to top that is with a cup of coffee. So I'm going to use my Wicatech Stormfire to make my coffee today, but here's the kicker. We're under a fire ban, so I can't have a fire in it. I could use alcohol, but I think I'll take this opportunity to demonstrate using it with charcoal. If you're interested, keep watching. So yes, I'm going to use my Wicatech Storm Fire with charcoal, and I feel very fortunate here in Nova Scotia that even during a fire ban, I can still use charcoal to cook with. I could use alcohol, I could use gas, but if I have the opportunity to use charcoal, then I'm going to take that. So that's what we're going to do. So all I really have to do with this is fill it full of charcoal, get it lit from underneath, wait till it generates enough heat to bring my water to a boil. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take a fire starter and slide it between the ash pan and the fire grate so that it'll light the charcoal from below right through the fire grate. So let's get it down to the ground and get started. So as I mentioned, the fire ban is on here in Nova Scotia. And even though the damp or the ground feels damp underneath, I am still going to take the precaution and put a metal plate down. It's just an extra layer between the stove and the ground itself, even though there is an ash plate in here. And I'm actually going to be using that ash plate to uh, light the charcoal. So the I think the best way to use this with charcoal is to preload it, light it underneath. I am going to put the feed port cover on so that I can retain all the heat and maximize that chimney effect. See if I can get this lit and shoved inside underneath. I have not done this before, so I'm assuming it'll work. That's what I'm doing is I'm assuming it's going to work. But I do need a little stick to push that in with, don't I? Where am I going to find a nice little stick here to, so I don't burn my fingers? There we go, starting to get under, so I don't put it out. My God. Do I have flames? Yep, I have flames. That's right, so you can see a little bit of smoke already starting to work its way up through the, uh, the stove. It does take a little while for charcoal to engage. Uh, you could see before I put the plate on that this is a little bit more than half full. So I didn't want to overload it. I'm not going to need it. All I'm doing is boiling enough water to make a cup of coffee. So what I'll do is I am marking the time right now to see how long it takes before I'm ready to boil the water, see how long it takes to boil the water, and then just see how long that little load of char chunk charcoal will last. So I'll bring it back when it's ready to put the water on, just so you can see that happening. So it's been 15 minutes since I stuck the fire starter underneath the fire grate to get the charcoal going. It's well engaged. I probably could have put my pot on a little sooner, but that's what I'll do now is put my kettle on so that I can make some coffee. And when the kettle water comes to boil, I'll bring it back. That took, um, actually it took about almost 15 minutes for that water to boil. That's two cups of water boiling in the kettle. So the boil it did and boiling hard right now. So I'm going to make my coffee. So, oh yeah, of course, Rampage coffee. Gotta love it. Never fails to impress me. Just a simple pour over device. Three scoops of coffee should do me quite well. Take the kettle off. Well, that's going to be a little bit hot. And the whole trick with making a pour over is you just start slowly, give it a chance for the grounds to absorb. And that's still inside of that stove. I'll show you in a minute, but there's still more heat than I could possibly use for this purpose. I could still grill a good size hamburger or something else. Takes a little while for the charcoal to get going, but once it does, it goes strong, it goes hot, it goes clean, and it lasts a long time. All right, so I'll finish pouring off my coffee here and we'll have a few closing words about using the uh, Wicatech Stormfire with charcoal. Oh, that's nice. I know I've said it before and I'll probably say it again, Rampage Coffee never fails to deliver on its promise of being the best coffee. Okay, the Stormfire, 
so the obvious question is, is why would I go through the work of lighting up the charcoal, waiting for it to get hot, just to boil water to make a cup of coffee? And the truth is, is using the storm fire with charcoal was on my list of demonstrations I wanted to do, and I just took the opportunity to bring it out today. I was using another stove with charcoal to cook my meal, and although I could have used this with alcohol, it would have been faster and easier. I just wanted to demonstrate that it could be done with charcoal. So that's the only reason why. Uh, yeah, normally I wouldn't use charcoal to make a cup of coffee. I have used this to grill hamburgers, and I would use it again at a moment's notice to grill hamburgers, especially with the charcoal. Okay, so I think that's all the demonstrations that I could do with the storm fire at this point. I think I'll leave any questions you have uh, in, for you to put in the comments section below. The Kickstarter likely would be closed by the time you see this video, but it will be going to market before too long. You can keep an eye on the storm or the Wicatech website. You may still be able to get in on the Kickstarter even though it'll be closed. Uh, I don't know how that works, but certainly you can leave your name on the list of people who are looking to get one of these when they finally do go into regular production. But if you have any questions or any comments, put them in the, put them in the comments section below. The original video I did talking about all the specs and information about this stove, I'll link at the end of this one. But until next time, Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.